Okay, so the theme of this particular module is uh, searching the, the literature, right? So it only makes sense for me to show you how to navigate to our library's webpage to use databases that will allow you to, to search the literature. I say that, um, and over time after teaching this course for several years, I've learned that if some of you are just freshly out of an undergraduate curriculum, then you may have access to your previous school's uh, databases, and that's totally fine too. This is just to show you guys what we have available here if you want to try something new. And if you didn't have access to, the, to these databases, then I really recommend that you're using these databases to help you build your critical appraisal topic in this course. And then as you leave us, um, we'll show you a few databases that you don't have to have access through um, as you as you leave us and you get prepared to become professional. So the first thing that I want to do is start on a web page that we all are at least somewhat familiar with or should be. And this is our landing page at Point Loma. So it's www.pointloma.edu. When you get here, what you're going to do is click on this magnifying glass to the right. Uh, and, and then what you'll see is a drop down list of frequently visited places from our students. And one of those is the Ryan Library. So you're going to click on that Ryan Library tab. And then you'll be taken to our Ryan Library homepage. What I've done is bookmark this um, as one of my favorites because the reality is I spend a lot of time here when I'm doing my own research. So I recommend doing that. But if nothing else, you know how to get there from our homepage. When you get to the Ryan Library homepage, however, what you want to do is look on in this quick link box and you want to click on that all databases tab. And then this is going to take you to the thousands of online databases that we have here at Point Loma. Uh, so my favorite database of all is EBSCOhost. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to show you how to link in other databases within this one in particular. So I'm going to click on that E because EBSCO E. Uh, and then I'm going to click on this database here called EBSCOhost. Notice I'm not clicking on that EBSCOhost ebook collection. So you're going to click on that EBSCOhost link. And when the page loads, um, you'll be taken to its home screen. Now I want to take you one step backwards to say that I've already logged into our library database. Most often what happens when you click, I'm going to go backwards, when you click on this all databases and you click on a database is that it's going to ask you for your username and password one time. So it's going to be your short name. So in my example, it would be in Cosby. And then my password would be the one that I use to log into my email uh, at Point Loma or to log into my Canvas course. So now that we've done that, I'm going to click back on the EBSCOhost tab. And, and one of the great things about this database uh, is that it allows you to choose other databases to search within, right? Now, one of the things that I don't like about um, the default for this particular database is that it defaults to every single database that we have. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, de deselect all um, and, and, and start from scratch. So the ones that I think are extremely fruitful and useful for our Masters of Science in Kinesiology and Masters of Science in Athletic Training students are it's going to be EBSCOhost, obviously, Sin, Sinol, which is here, Cochrane Database, all of the Cochrane databases. And so I'll click on those. Uh, and last but not least is Sports Discus. So all of my favorite uh, health sciences databases located within one larger global database. What does that mean? What it means is when I go up here to search, um, so let's type in maybe ankle sprain. When I type in here to search, what it's going to do is not only search EBSCOhost, but it's going to search Synod, it's going to search Sport Discus, it's going to search Cochrane. Right. And from here, what you can see is if there are articles that have full text, you'll see that PDF full text there. Uh, and then essentially it'll open up uh, and you'll have the option to download that and to save that research article. So I hope this has been extremely helpful to you in terms of figuring out where our library actually lives, in terms of s figuring out where to search for databases and how to search for databases. We'll walk you through each of the databases uh, step by step, but this is at least a, a live video showing you how to actually get to those databases from our uh, pointloma.edu landing space. Again, if I had to reiterate, my favorite databases on our website for health sciences students would be number one, probably EBSCOhost as a whole. But if you wanted to independently search one or two databases, CINAHL, uh, and Science Direct and even Sport Discus would be great uh, health science research databases. 
last but not least, I know we all love Google. Uh, I'm a big fan of Google. So if that is you, you can use scholar.google.com uh, and that will help you yield uh, scholarly research articles that are most often evidence-based. Look forward to interacting with you throughout the rest of this particular module.